Arnie, how are you? This is Armando Cruz, and I just thought I'd take a moment to, to make this quick video talking about confidence from the perspective of the brain. As a legacy coach, as a physical therapist, these are the kinds of things that I really try to, you know, get my clients to, to really understand. And I'd like to share that perspective. What's going on in the brain to, to really enhance confidence or what is confidence in essence confidence is your brain your brain your brain your brain increasing in its ability to predict what's going to happen and have the adequate response so in other words if you want more confidence the more clarity that you have on knowing what's going to happen and then knowing that you have the skill set to deal with it it increases your confidence levels. The opposite is also true. The less you know, and the less your skill set you have, the decrease in confidence levels. So, how do you improve your confidence? Number one, increase your clarity. The more clarity you have around the situation, around anything, it gives you a better idea, crisper picture of what's going to happen which gives you a better ability to decide whether or not you have the skill set to deal with it properly, effectively, and efficiently. So that's number one is the clarity. Number two is improve your skill set. The more versatile you are in different areas, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, the greater chance you'll have the tools necessary to deal with upcoming situations. Becoming more self-reliant on many different levels will improve. But none of that matters if you don't have the clarity beforehand. And again, if let's talk about that person that you've known that seems to be confident no matter what, in like the most dire situations that they really can't know what's going to happen. How are they confident? Well, Remember that your mind, what, you're, what you perceive to be a reality, is your mind's reality. And so for some people, they've trained themselves and have a certain level of confidence based on how they view the world that allows them to feel in control in the most dire of situations. And so that comes with training and exposure. So that's what training is, an exposure to a stress so that you become desensitized so you don't get these spikes, but it allows you to know that you will figure it out and so your confidence increases. So once again, just to kind of wrap up this quick video, confidence is having the clarity of knowing what's going to happen and then having the skill set or the tools to know that you can respond adequately, efficiently, and effectively. So again, if you want more confidence, increase your um, clarity and improve your skill set. I hope this has been helpful. This has been me, Armando, and I'll catch you later, brother.